I often encourage musicians to do events with donations because, and this story will explain why, a lot of times, you know, if we put a price to something, like if we say, you know, the ticket to my show is $10 or whatever, people will pay $10, you know, they'll pay what they're told. But if you're doing something like a house concert where you can ask for donations, people will give all different amounts, like whatever they feel it's worth it to them or whatever is, you know, affordable to them. Well, people have different opinions of what's affordable to them. And I learned that very well at one event that I did in Santa Barbara. I was performing, uh, it wasn't a an event that was a donation event, but I was performing at this event and afterwards someone came up to me and she said, oh my gosh, your songs, I love your songs. I think they need to be recorded by Shania Twain. Like she was just convinced that for some reason my song should be recorded by Shania Twain. And she said, well, I want to make sure that you can get your songs to Shania. So here, take this money and use this to try to get your songs in front of Shania Twain. Well, I was like, uh, there, I have no idea how to get in front of Shania Twain. You know, obviously I can maybe reach out to a few people, but I didn't know what to do. But anyway, she was like, well, here, just take this money and you can use this to try to get in front of Shania if you want. And she handed me a hundred dollar bill. And I was like, whoo, okay, you know, and, but she was very passionate about it. And I didn't want to be like, no, 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 it's okay. You know, she really wanted to give me that money. She really felt strongly about my music and she wanted me to use it in whatever way I could do to get my music out there to more people. Now, of course, I didn't get my music in front of Shania. I had no idea how to do that. But that experience taught me that, you know, to her, that was almost like walking up and giving me a 20. You know, it was just, it was very easy for her to just hand me this hundred dollar bill, like no big deal to her because to her, you know, money was valued a little bit differently than it was for me at that time. And that just helped me kind of see that like, I can't assume that my idea about what a lot of money is, is the same for other people. And that's why I encourage musicians to really ask for donations even if it, you're just at a coffee shop or whatever and you're putting a tip jar out there like don't put suggested donation on there because you never know someone might li literally walk by and put a hundred dollar bill in there and they might even want to do that anonymously and not even want any credit for it just to help you out and some other people might put dollars in there and to them that dollar was a lot of money so I just want to encourage you guys, if you're doing a house concert or an outside event or whatever, a great way to make money from that. And what I find always does better than charging a ticket price is to ask for donations, but you want to do it in a very specific way during the, the concert, when people are enjoying themselves, when they're having a great experience, that's when you want to and it's better if someone else who's running the show can do this, get up there and say, haven't we been having a great time? Haven't we, you know, hasn't this been a very valuable experience? I want you to give according to the value of the experience you've had today and then have a donation opportunity for people and even pass something around. Of course, I did a lot of churches, so that was, you know, very easy to do with the offering during a church, but even do something like that uh, when you're outside or at least put a box where people can donate to you because you never know what kind of money you're going to get in there from really generous people.